make fun and engaging videos featuring memories from the past and the present to celebrate your family's history using Photoshop Elements. So here I am over on Photoshop Elements and I am in the editor view. But what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to the organizer view. I like Photoshop Elements because I can edit my photos, I can create scrapbook pages, I can touch up uh, images, and there it's just one tool to do so many things that it can also um, help me create these videos. Now, sometimes it takes a little while to load between the editor view that I just showed you and the elements organizer view. So now that's why I chit chatted while it loaded up. Now let's go back and see it ready to go. So this is the organizer view. Now, if you want to add new images to your organizer, just open up your Windows uh, folder organizer or your um, Apple organizer and you just drag and drop right onto this service and then you'll have the images ready to go. Now, I want to make a, a couple of slideshows. The first one is going to be a slideshow of just images. So I am uh, clicking on the image and if I hold the shift key and go forward, it's gonna catch every uh, image from that first one to the last one that I hold, held my shift key down on. If I want to skip and select certain images like I'm doing now, I am holding down the uh, control key or the command key, and then I can let go for a moment to scroll further, further hold down that control or command key one more time, and select all the images that I am interested in. Now let's let Photoshop Element do its magic. Click Create and Slideshow. Now Photoshop Element is going to generate a preview. I will pause it for just a minute. It will automatically generate a preview view using the images that you had with a particular theme as well as some music. So let's see what it looks like. So there, there you have it. Uh, there are a lot of different themes that we can try out so, and we can also take out the um, lead image. Let's say you're not particularly fond of that one. Right click, edit, and you can scroll left or right and see if any of these images uh, fit your mood. These don't. If they did, I could put graduates through time and maybe say 1907 to 2000 and press save and then I have um, click here and then it will generate the new preview with the title that I just changed. Now let's say you're not particularly fond of some of the orders of the image. Maybe you would like to have this image after that one or maybe you want to have uh, this one here, you just left mouse click, drag and drop, left mouse click, drag and drop, and now um, when you click onto this side, it will reorganize those images for you. You can scroll through to see how your changes take place, and there you have it. All right, so let's say you're not particularly fond of having this um, title, you can click right click remove and the title will go away. You can make your own title graphics over in Photoshop Elements, the editor version, and then you can drag it over here. But there are several themes. There's a watercolor theme. Click apply and it'll change it. And notice the and the music has changed. Now for a moment, I want to highlight this image. Notice how this image is more oval and then doesn't have um, a white around it. This 
is because it is a PNG file with a transparent background. Otherwise, it was um, a rectangle with lots of white. So if you're trying to make the white go away so it blends beautifully into the image, you have to um, take out the background and make that transparent and save your image as a PNG. Otherwise, it will utilize the JPEGs. So there are several different themes that you can choose. This music is quite comical for the time because most of my ancestors were not a country, an American country, but this is kind of a cool effect of black and white uh, movement effect. So if you want to change the music, you can come over to the audio and play a little sample. Class reunion, let's do that. Now, if you wanted to add your own audio clip to uh, your soundtrack, you can add any type of MP3 that you have on your computer here. We're gonna try one more theme that I often find myself using, this classics one. And I will show you one more feature. Let's say you want to add caption. So let's say you want to add the name of the person that's in this image. So click on the box, Jesse's name. And let's say it was 1907. Don't correct me on this, my family who's watching. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to pull it from memory. So Victor Zemtine, 1913. And I could do that for the rest of the images, but you get the idea. Let me show you what happens when I add the caption. The image, the title comes in and it changes up the format of the images. Now one more change that we can add is, let's say we wanna add more photos. Like, oh, I really wanted to go ahead and get those documents. Well, I'm gonna go back to the organizer and I'm going to left click on some more documents and then I can drag and drop them where I would like them to go. And we'll leave them like that. So if we scroll through, we can kind of see how it's gonna change. We're gonna have the name and we're gonna have the different um, images come in. And what I really like about Photoshopped Elements over all the other slideshow generating things that I have tried is that I don't have to know any design principles. It does the pan and zoom. It automatically trims the music. Now. I can't customize it much more than what I showed you on the screen, but if you are trying to make quick, fast memories, this is a place for you. And if you want more tips and tricks on how to write your family histories, be sure to check out this playlist. And I can't wait to talk to you in the FHF Extra community by hitting the join button and subscribing to the membership where we have some in-depth training on your writing, research, and DNA questions.